Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and here let's check out the top new games made with Unity launch in March 23. This month is full of awesome games, especially full of games that have graduated early access, so if you're the kind of person who waits until the full release then there's lots of awesome stuff for you to play this month, several very interesting, very unique games, and some that have already found some massive success. The reason why I make these videos is to show you everything that the engine can do, the only limit is really just your own skills and imagination, and the variety and the awesomeness of the games shown here really puts that to the test. All of these games are uniquely impressive, so the list is in no particular order, except for the number one game that is my personal pick of the month. By the way, I'm currently working on my own Steam game called Total World Liberation. It's a game with tons of systems, open world, survival, crafting, automation, strategy. Check out the Steam page, add it to your wishlist, and follow for the devlogs. Also, right now, there's a Humble Bundle with a bunch of Game Dev TV courses on making RPG elements. I remember going through the inventory course, and I quite liked it. So these four are made using some really nice clean code. You can get the entire pack for just 25 bucks. And there's also a Mega Bundle on the Unity Asset Store. So this one, as usual, has multiple tiers, up to 95% off. You've got a the song shader, a bunch of icons. Then over here, nice tool, the Editor Console Pro, so a much more advanced console. You've got the Game Creator, which quite a lot of people like this one. You've got some vegetation, some first-person animations. You've got some sounds, some robots, or maybe a kit to make your own Stardew Valley. So check out both bundles with the links in the description. All right, so starting off at number 10 with a game that has been in development for seven years and is now fully released out of early access, it's Patch Quest. Some of you might already know about it since it has a great YouTube channel with some excellent devlogs. Definitely go watch those if you want to see how the game progressed over time. The first devlog was all the way back four years ago. The game itself has a very interesting design. It's a monster taming adventure game with some bullet hell and roguelite elements. You can use your lasso to capture all kinds of unique creatures. All of them have some unique skills and abilities which you can then use after you capture them. It's a really interesting, very unique idea that really changes the game depending on what creature you use. There's over 50 of them. And the world itself is also pretty unique. It's made up of various building blocks making every run feel fresh and unique. It is now fully released and already has over a thousand overwhelmingly positive reviews. Then here's another one that also just came out of early access, it's the Unless spell. This is an excellent turn-based strategy game where you defend the Unless of humanity from a horde of monsters, either by using magic or brute force. It is extremely well polished, features some gorgeous pixel art, and the game is really just a joy to look at. The gameplay is certainly challenging, you have about 5 heroes and are up against 100 enemies, so you really do need to look at all of your skills and learn how to make some nice combos. During the night you must use everything at your disposal to defend your base and survive, then during the day rebuild your town, buy some upgrades and get ready for the coming night. Features some persistent progression, so losing is definitely part of the game. I actually played this one myself a few months ago, but I stopped playing when they mentioned the full release was coming and it was going to wipe some saves. Now that the full game is out, I definitely want to get back to it. Already has over 7,000 very positive reviews, so if you're a fan of this genre, then this one is a must play. Up next, here is a rare simulator game that is actually very good. It's called Contraband Police. I say rare because nowadays there are tons of these games. Police simulators, firefighter simulators, there are tons of them and usually they are quite janky, but this one does seem to be actually good. Like the name implies, you play as Contraband Police, meaning you're at the border and you inspect some cars as they come. You ask people for their papers, try to stop smugglers, you find hidden compartments and arrest some wrongdoers. Maybe there's something hidden in the tires, or maybe it's under the car seat, or maybe everything is perfectly fine. But you're not just stuck there, the game also involves high-speed chases, as well as some actual shooting mechanics. Some people in the reviews are describing this game as being a 3D purpose please, and I must say that description definitely interests me. It is out now, and like I said, this one is being very well received, with 4,000 very positive reviews. Next, here is a very unique, very interesting game called Storyteller. Like the name implies, you tell a story, and you do this by dragging and dropping some pieces into each panel to build that story. For example, in order to fix the princess's broken heart, you drag a princess onto the same panel. It is a very, very inventive mechanic. My only question is just how many scenarios can you actually build. Based on the trailer, it does seem to support a wide range of scenarios. The reviews are only mostly positive, with the negative ones mainly pointing out how the game is very interesting but also ends very quickly. But if you're into unique concepts, then this one certainly fits the bill. For some VR, here is Tactical Assault VR. What stood out to me about this one is just how it's focused on either solo or co-op multiplayer. So there's no PvP, there's no shooting each other, but rather playing on the same team. It is focused on close quarter battles. Looking at the trailer, this actually reminds me of playing SWAT 3, which was one of my favorite games growing up. I definitely would have loved to play this in VR, although this one is actually more shooting than SWAT, so you're not really arresting people, just taking down bad guys. But it does involve some breaching mechanics, which are always fun to do with other players. You have a customizable avatar and randomly generated maps for endless variety. 
Up next here we have another one out of early access, it's Have a Nice Death. It's a 2D action roguelike with an excellent and very unique art style. It features a procedurally generated world where you'll meet a large cast of memorable characters as well as some powerful enemies. Use your sight in this fast paced action combat system allowing you to equip over 70 unique weapons and spells which you can then upgrade to deliver devastating combos. You're playing as death so you never really die, when you perish you just gain more skills making you better in the next run. If you're into 2D action platforms then this looks like a great new one. It is now out of early access so it has tons of content alongside 6000 very positive reviews. Next here is a unique management game called One Military Camp. Like name implies this one is all about managing a military camp, definitely a very unique setting for a management game. You place down some barracks, place down some infrastructure for power or some greenery, then some recruits come to you as complete rookies and it's up to you to train them into elite soldiers. The game has very much a comedy vibe, for example soldiers train to swim by jumping in a pool with a shark. They use a baseball bat in order to throw grenades, so if you enjoy the style of Theme Hospital or the Two Point style then this seems to match that perfectly. It's a management game with a lot of silliness, there is also some combat and you can go out on missions in an overall. The theme itself is certainly very unique and seems to be very well made, it just launched into early access with almost 200 very positive reviews so that's a decent start, hopefully it will develop into an excellent game over the next 6 months. Then here we have Gone Rogue, this is a tactical stealth game, you play as a thief in the mid 20th century, your goal is to to commit the perfect robbery, so you start by scouting the area, talking to informants and equipping the right tools, then you plan your moves and walk in undetected. Right away I love the way this looks because it reminds me of the old school tactical games like Commandos and Desperados, I love playing those growing up. Being able to see the guard view cones and being able to distract them with all kinds of gadgets is something that is always satisfying. You can explore 15 unique locations, unlock better equipment and some skills. It's a small release with only 50 very positive reviews but it looks really good. If you're a fan of those games like Commandos and Desperados and definitely give this a look. Next up here is one that has been around for quite a while and finally launched, it's Terra Nil. This one was actually made for a Ludum Dare game jam all the way back in 2019. It was a huge hit back then which made the developers turn it into a complete game. Then in 21 they made a demo which was another huge hit. And now in 2023 it is finally out. The game is basically a nature city builder. You start off on a barren lifeless wasteland and you start by placing down some buildings to water crops and bring some life back into this world. Each building has a certain radius so you cannot spam it, the game has an interesting puzzle element. You create some grassy land, some forests and swamps, each of those have different benefits. But the whole point of the game is to bring back nature which does not include your buildings. So when life has been restored to the world, your next task is to actually pack up all of your buildings and bring them with you as you leave this planet. It's a really nice, really calm, satisfying game, it is out now with 1000 very positive reviews. And at number 1 for my personal pick of the month, here we have Big Ambitions. This is a business simulation game which looks really really complex and really well made. The type of business isn't fixed, you can create many different types. Perhaps start with a small gift shop business, then maybe a restaurant or a clothing shop. The simulation is extremely detailed. If you need a truck for your deliveries then it's very simple, you just travel to a dealership and you buy one. If you need some food you go to the supermarket and so on. This is not a god game, so you control an actual character that has actual real needs. You can buy a house or an entire building and fill it with some furniture. Then perhaps buy a car or invest in some funds and reap the rewards. Do make sure you take care of yourself so you can make it to retirement. It's from the same developer as the game Startup Company which people really like. This one is already a huge hit, it has only just launched into early access and already has over 3000 overwhelmingly positive reviews. That is a huge amount and it's extremely positive on a relatively crowded and complex genre. So that means that even with all of this complexity, this huge scale, the game is already extremely solid even though it just entered early access. Alright so that's 10 awesome new games made with DMT launched in March 23. I hope this list helped you see how the Unity engine is capable of building anything, the only limits are really just your own skills and imagination. Check out my own Steam game Total War Liberation and add it to your wishlist. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.